Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel OVS VFX. Today I am going to show you arrow shape infographic slide in PowerPoint. So let's start. Go to insert tab, select shapes and select a rectangle. Draw, draw the rectangle uh, till here, the half of the slide and make it no outline and shape fill, maybe let it be this color itself. And go to insert tab again shapes select right triangle and draw the right triangle maybe this is uh, enough make it no outline again and shape some give some different color and rotate horizontal and rotate vertical just press ctrl d make a duplicate bring it down okay and select the a rectangle then the right triangle under format go to merge shapes and subtract do the same thing for the second select the rectangle first and then the triangle merge shapes and say subtract so you have got this shape ready now now the next step is to create the circles where you can see one two three four five six seven uh, circles are there I'm going to create that one go to insert shapes select oval and go to format and make the height and width as one inches and place it here you can uh, make as no outline and shape fill you can select uh, uh, for time being say orange i'm going to create one more uh, circle by pressing ctrl d and this one i'm going to make the half of the size 0.5 inches and this also you bring it here and I'm going to select say over say rectangle and I'll just maybe this size is enough make as no outline and shape same orange and select these three objects just align middle and under format go to merge shape and say union right now the shape is ready i'm just going to copy and paste it here this is one two three this is four so this is five this is sixth and this is seventh all right so you can see our arrow i have on the exactly on the arrow i have just placed all the the circle so you can just align it properly okay now i'm just going to delete this shape by pressing the delete button okay now the next step is to create uh, uh, these uh, numbers here so for that one i'm just going to shapes and select a rectangle maybe this size is okay and make it no outline and i'm going to insert a text box here for example one and i'm going to set the font as oswald and you can make it bold if you want and just put it here and you can just increase the size maybe this is okay and I'm just going to give this as a white color I can just somewhat I will just increase the size maybe this is okay I believe and let me just bring this here now okay I'm going to group this right mouse click and group it then add the line here go to shapes select line and just draw the line okay first of all before adding the line you can just make this two as uh, a line and make it as say middle and then go to insert shapes select can you see this line from here to 
here all right the same thing i'm just going to do press ctrl d bring this down and again select these two objects and make it middle and then i'm just going to draw the line once again from this point to this point so you have to repeat the same exercise uh, seven times okay so i have added all the seven numbers and included the lines as well uh, now it's time to add the text here you can just simply add the text by going to text box and you can just type your title here all right so i can just see you can use any font in my case i'm just going to use uh, oswald and this is your title and if you want you can just add a subtitle here also you can reduce the font all right and the same thing you just copy these two objects i'm just going to align it left and then copy it here copy all the places all right so we have added the text and uh, so now the next thing is i want to just add this particular shape i'm going to add the circle here go to insert shapes select oval and just uh, give say 2.15 height and width and make it no outline and bring exactly at the center maybe it's here okay and i'm just going to add one more circle and for this one i'm just going to use 1.85 maybe and just change the color to white and select both the objects and you can just say align middle align center all right now go to shapes select a uh, rounded rectangle and just draw the rounded rectangle here and you can just see this one yellow dot just drag it and it becomes like this okay and go to format send to back and i'm just going to uh, change the color shape outline as make it no outline and i can just give some uh, different color here for the time being i'm just going to give a green color and properly align it you can just reduce the size okay now it's time to add the text here i'm just going to type the text here you can just say text just press ctrl c and ctrl v and copy the text everywhere all the on all the circles and once you have done that one it's time to add the the icons here so we, you can see here i have added all the icons here you can see and just i can just ctrl c if you have the icons you can get it uh, or you can download from the site called the noun project you can get a very good uh, icons there okay i'm just going to copy this one here this also i'm just bringing it here and likewise like this so just uh, copy the text and the icons here now we have added all the text and icons here now it's time to work on colors First of all, I'm just going to give uh, the different color on the background. Right mouse click and go to format background and you can just give any background color you like. In this case, I'm just going to use uh, say this color, maybe or some other color. Anyway, it's up to you to decide which color 
will fit best anyway okay now i'm just going to give this as a white color just change this to white and i'm just going to give this one a different color okay and for each of these uh, circles i'm going to give a gradient fill i'm just selecting this one and um, keep only two stops one and two so this stop i'm just going to use say purple and this one also i'm going to use some a uh, different combination we can try if you feel this combination is okay like this it should be for example maybe something like this so the same thing i'm just going to give some different gradient colors select the gradient color now i'm going to change say orange with maybe yellow likewise so it's up to you to decide which color you need again let me just select some different colors here now uh, say this one with uh, green i don't know how it will look like but it will look like this okay so just give some different color options here you can have lots of colors so you can see here i have given so many different colors here and for, i have used this background color the background color is you can see red is 36 green 72 and blue is 76 so you can use the same color if you want okay and i'm just going to add the title here again i'm going to use the font Oswald and you can just increase the title and you can give some different color okay so this also this particular shape also which is going outside the slide you can just uh, cut it by using the uh, merge shapes okay i'm not going to do that one so again give the same color options here for example go here and say gradient fill and you can just give some see i'm just going to say just delete this objects and this one and i'm going to select eyedropper and select this color and for this one select eyedropper and select this one so likewise you can just change the colors again for this one gradient fill select eyedropper orange and for this top i'm going to use yellow likewise so you can just add all these things and apart from that one you can see the text is not visible you can just change to white text here okay so once you have done that one your slide will look something like this okay so that's it from me friends hope you like my video and do subscribe to my channel osvfx uh, see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye